Hello guys, what is up? Sports Talk here, and I just got done watching the Michigan-Indiana game, like literally less than 30 seconds ago I watched it, and what a game, first of all. That was the most incredible game, and it was everything we expected and more, and in the background right now is a little gameplay. I was Michigan playing Indiana on March Madness 06 for the original Xbox, but that's just a little something for keep your eyes on while you listen to me talk about this amazing game. Indiana, they came out bad. They came out flat. Michigan actually had an 11-point lead at one point, and to have an 11-point lead over Indiana in such a meaningful game and losing that lead, is it's got to be pretty tough. Indiana... They did a pretty bad job shooting free throws. They only got 55% from free throw. But Michigan did even worse. And I'm not even just talking about their percentage. Missing two crucial free throws. Trey Burke on that last one, and I believe it was uh, Glenn Robinson the third on the first one. They both missed the front end of one-on-ones, which really... I mean, if both of them made that, and even if they missed the second one, Michigan only lost by one point, so it, that was obviously a huge, huge turning point in the game. Also, I, another reason that I believe Michigan lost is because they didn't get the ball to Trey Burke. Trey Burke, between four minutes and two minutes left in the second half, I'm pretty sure he was the only Michigan player to touch the ball on offense, and then... Until he missed that last free throw, we just went completely silent and didn't get the ball. So that was obviously a problem for Michigan as he scored, did score 20 points, but he needed two more for Michigan to win. Victor Oladipo is a amazing player. He's not as good as Trey Burke is on offense, but he makes up for it with his great defensive play. And as you can see today, he got 13 rebounds. I mean, that's just amazing. Compare that to Trey Burke, both guards, he only got three rebounds. And they, uh, that's that's really the main difference between those two. Trey Burke is more of an offensive player, and Aldipo is a defensive player. I'll maybe make a video on who I think should win that award that I'm forgetting the name of right now. I think it's the Walden. But anyway, another reason why Indiana, I think, won was because they doubled pretty much Michigan's rebounds, and when you get out-rebounded by, like, 25, I mean, that's that's always a problem. Now on to the other games of the day. Surprisingly, Indiana-Michigan was not the only game of the day. I know it's people are forgetting that, but also, Penn State versus Wisconsin was an amazing game. I was literally watching that game, and I was screaming. I mean, and Penn State, don't be surprised if they make noise in the Big Ten tournament, because... They beat Michigan and almost beat Wisconsin, so they are a capable team. They they are capable of winning. Also, uh, Temple with a nice win over VCU and Ohio State taking care of business as they needed to against Indiana, uh, Illinois. I'm sorry. And that's pretty much it for this video. Please leave a like and a comment if you want to. That was a terrific game, and I am so interested to see what happens when Michigan, actually the five seed in the Big Ten tournament, gets there. And I'm interested to see what Indiana does too. So that's me. I'm Sports Talk. Have a great day, guys.